Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is a great video if you're interested in Moodle and particularly if you want to work with wikis. I'm going to show you a lovely trick that allows you to create multiple pages in your in your wiki and then to add a navigation system so that the user can come on and go to page one or go to page two or go to page three very easily and then edit the content that they want to edit. It really does make working with wikis a lot int more interesting. Uh, I'm going to get straight into it, so let's start. Okay, so I'm logged into Moodle. Uh, I'm going to turn the editing on, which I've done, and I'm going to come down and add a wiki. So I'm going to click on Add an Activity, come down and add a wiki. And we're going to call this a wiki for navigation. So we call it Wiki Navigation. That will do. And what I'm going to do here, uh, there's no need necessarily to write a description. If you do add a description and you want that to appear, uh, then what you can do is just click here. Now, all you need to do for now is to add the first page. So I'm going to call that home and the name of the pages is really, really important as you'll see in a minute. And then I'm going to click on save and display. And now we actually need to click on create place create page before the first page is actually created. So click on that page and you've now created the first page of your wiki. But what about if you want to have more pages on your wiki? How could you do that? So how can we set up some additional pages onto our wiki? So what I've done is I'm in on the home page of the wiki, which we named at the beginning. I'm going to come in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a navigation system. And to do that, I'll need to click to open up a or the extensive menu and click here on the HTML block. Click on that. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to kind of create a link to the home page. So I'm going to do double brackets, square brackets, and then I'm going to write the word home exactly as the naming convention is for the home page. Then I'm going to move along a little bit and add another one and I'm going to write page one now page one we haven't even produced yet but that won't doesn't matter we can activate the page after so what we've done is literally create two uh, or a navigation system to go to two different pages and just to tidy that navigation system up as well I'm going to just give another little trick I'm going to actually put a line underneath it here okay and we'll come back and see that in a minute now all I need to do is to click on save now, if we view that navigation system, in fact, we'll need to tidy it up a little bit. It hasn't quite worked the way I wanted it to, but that's not a problem. If we view that navigation system, we've now got a home page and we've got a page one. If we click on page one, unfortunately, page one has still not been produced since it's since. So it's brought us to this page and we say, yes, we want a new page. So now we've got two pages, but from page one, we're not able to navigate back to the beginning. So what I'm going to do again is click here so that now we're adding the navigation to page two. So we're going to, remember we copied that navigation before, so we're gonna click on that button now and click on save. Now we've got two pages. From page one, we can navigate to the home button. And from, page, uh, from the home button, we can click to page one. Now, a couple of things I need to tidy up. If I click on that, see, it will bring me to page one. So let's just go back to the home page. So we're literally kind of producing various pages in our wiki almost like a website i'm going to come into edit and just tidy this up a bit because it hasn't worked the way i want it to first of all i want that underneath secondly i would like to create a bit of gap between those two so i'm just going to do that and click on save and hopefully that's going to be a bit tidier there it is now we've got home now let's go to page one and we need to do the same so we're going to click on edit and we're going to just create a bit of a gap between those two so that they look nice and clear. And then I'm going to put that line underneath. And now, if we click on save, suddenly we've got a wiki with two pages. So, why is this interesting? Well, it is interesting because it allows us, for example, to have various pages to our wiki depending the type of work that we're doing. For example, we, if we've got three or four students in a, in a group, we could give a different name to each of their pages, Russell's page, Tom's page, etc. So that would be one way of working. Or another way could be, for example, that the home page might have some content, then you might have reflections in another button, you might have a comments in another section, etc. All I'm suggesting is that you can now create various pages and the students or can navigate between the pages and then edit those pages and add a contribution. Let's just add another page just to make that really clear. 
Now, a couple of tips that you might like to consider when you're working with wikis. It's a good idea if you're going to do this, if you're going to create multiple pages, to think about those pages before you start. One thing that you might do if you've got students working in groups is that you have one page for group one, one page for group two, one page for group three. If you're having working with individual students, you might have the names of individual students. Obviously, it's gonna depend a lot on what you're planning on doing. Another thing could be various different types of content. So for example, it might be reflections, it might be another thing that is the, the discussion area, etc. You can organize your wiki and the contents within the wiki in different ways. Obviously, keep in mind that one of the things that you are trying to do is to get the students to collaborate and work together. Um, so you're normally going to kind of set your wiki out so that it encourages st students to actually collaborate and work and add content uh, collaboratively. However, let's just think that we let's imagine that we want to add a third page to this wiki. How could we do that? Well, we the quickest way would be this: simply click on Edit and jump again to the HTML mode. And actually, what I would do in this particular case is I would just copy that code there. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste that here. So we're actually going to add a new page. We've got home page, page one, and we're going to change this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call this one Tom, because I want to show you that, of course, how you name the pages uh, really depends on you. Now I'm going to copy all that because I will be needing that code in a minute. So I'm going to come back down to here, click on save. So we've now added a third page called Tom. That page isn't active yet. Remember, that has created the navigation to that page, but we're not at this moment in time able to actually access the page until we've created it. So we click on Tom. Do we want to create that page? Yes, we do. Now we've got a page called Tom, but of course we can't navigate back. Well, that's not a problem now because I just copied the navigation. So I'm going to click here, open up the HTML and paste in that navigation system into that page and click on save. Now, Tom, we can jump to the home page and from the home page we can jump to Tom. Now the only problem is that the page in the middle still hasn't got Tom on it. And that's one of the reasons why you really do need to think this through carefully because obviously every single page needs to be able to navigate to every other page in the wiki. That's why you need to really plan it in advance. I'm gonna do what I did before. I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna delete that because I've already copied the whole of the navigation system and just paste in the new navigation uh, with the three pages. This is the reason why I tend to plan this in advance and I'm gonna click on save. Now the result of this is we've now got three pages. So when the students come on and they wanna view the content of the wiki, and obviously the content would go in here, they can jump from the home page and they can go to page one and they can go to page two. And when they get to the page that they wanna edit, they can simply click on edit and then they can simply begin to put their content underneath here. This is where obviously the content's gonna go and they would click on save. And of course now page three with the Tom on it has got some content added. Page two, there's still nothing on there. And page one, there's still nothing on there. I hope that's clear. It is a little bit tricky, but it is a great way of organizing your wikis and getting uh, students to clearly understand where they're meant to add the content and how they can navigate quickly through the wiki and go to different pages. Hi, this is Russell Sanner from teachertrainingvideos.com. I really hope you liked uh, those videos on working with wikis and creating the navigation system and the pages. Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Plenty more free videos on the website. You can sign up to the newsletter if you want to keep up with all the latest videos that I upload, any courses I run, any webinars that I run. If you don't want to sign up to the newsletter, just click on the cross here. Uh, some of the sections that you might be particularly interested in, well, firstly, Moodle tutorials. Uh, lots of free videos on working with different aspects of Moodle. Scroll down if there's anything you're interested in, just click on it, and then you'll see the video. And of course, you can watch the videos full screen. Another very popular section is the top 12 videos, the most popular videos on this website, and Russell's five minute blog, where I just create very quick videos that show you key technologies that you can use in your teaching and learning and finally if you really want to keep up with what i'm doing then please follow me on youtube because there's lots of videos on youtube that i don't add up onto the website and thank you very much